Hey everybody, Beauty Holly coming at you with another video. Um, today we will be doing another makeup or foundation review. Um, Y'all, I've had this foundation for months and I hauled it months ago and this, I forgot about it. I forgot I even had this. So this is the new Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation with SPF for 15. Um, it's a liquid foundation in a cushion compact and it's luminous, lightweight, and buildable hydrating formula. Uh, this is naturally coconut. No, I'm sorry. It contains natural coconut is what it says. And this is the color 122B Tawny Medium Deep uh, Neutral. Yeah, so it comes in a box like this. And we're just going to open this up and see. And it looks like this. Comes in a little compact like this. And then you just kind of open it up. And then it has the sponge right here. And I think I've tested it out on my hand to see if it was going to be the right color. And I don't remember what happened. But this is the color right here. Which it looks like it probably will match. I don't know. We'll see. But, um... So, first, let me go ahead and prime my face. I've already um, cleansed my face and moisturized. And I moisturized with the uh, Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting uh, Gel Moisturizer. This is something new that I'm trying out. And the lady at the store said that uh, it's great for oily skin and stuff like that. So, we're going to see. So I'm going to go ahead and prime with the Smashbox. Okay, so, ooh. so I'm going to go ahead and prime with that. And then I'm going to use something new today on top of that. And it's called Julep. And it's called Blank Canvas Mattifying Treatment Primer. And it comes in a box like this. And I got this from Ulta. And I can't remember how much I paid for it. But I think I got it on sale. And I want to say it was like maybe $28 or something. Um, I don't remember. But I think I know I paid about $20 some dollars for it. Um, it says if you can put it on, you can pull it off. And it's hashtag Prave. No, Brave Pretty. So, right. Okay. So basically what it says is it mattifies and smooth for all day makeup wear and it nourished with 18 botanical plant extracts. So, uh, apply a pea-sized amount evenly over cleanse skin with fingers and wait a few seconds before applying makeup or wear alone. So let's just go ahead and do this now. And it comes in a cute little tube like this. And it just says a little pea size. So that's what we're going to do. And see what this is all about. So as you can see, it's like a white cream type primer. So we're just going to see what this does. Oh, and it feels really good going on. It feels really good. Yeah, the consistency of it is really nice and it's really smooth and yeah, I like the way it feels going on. Okay. So we're going to let that sit for a little bit and I'm going to go and get my mirror because um, now that I have this new tripod, it's kind of hard for me to see myself in the mirror now. So, um, I'm having to place a mirror here when I do these makeup thingies for you guys. So, I need a mirror. So, um, I'm going to go get a mirror and let this um, primer stay on my face a little bit before I put the foundation on. So, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. 
So let's get into this foundation. This is what I'm kind of excited about. I think I'm going to use this sponge to um, put the foundation on, but I think I'm going to use a, um, I don't know what I want to use. I think I'm going to use a sponge to, yeah. So anyway, I don't know. We're going to go ahead and just kind of squeeze on in here like this. And, oh my God. Okay. We're going to do one side. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. This is already a fail, I think. And this was the darkest color that they had. So... I can already tell this is going to be very, very ashy on me. Now, it's not full coverage because you can see the dark spots right there. So, I'm just going to push this in on here and just, ew. Don't push too much because a lot does come out. So, wow. Okay. Um, let me just go ahead. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm gonna have to go ahead and go on this side now. I pushed. I pushed too much. Oh wow. Casket ready. <laughs> oh my God, it's way too light. Um, yeah, it's it's. I'm gonna have to do a lot of fixing up here. Try to get this right. Um, but um, let's just talk about it. Um, it felt good going on and it was very, uh, as you can see, it was really easy to blend in. It wasn't hard at all. It's light to medium coverage. It's not uh, full coverage at all. Um, yeah. Um, and this is Wet n Wild. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. This is, uh, like I said, this was the darkest color they had. And this is the tawny. Now, they may have had a darker color, but it was more reddish. And that's why I didn't get that when I got this one. Because I felt that it would be a little bit better. But it's too light. And so, um, maybe it will oxidize or something. I don't know. But this is what it is looking like on my face right now. And uh, I feel like in this viewfinder, I just look like a hot mess right now. I really do. I look like a hot mess. Um, the time is 1127. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to fix this and finish up my look. And, um, and then I'm going to come back um, and then I'm going to come back and let you see um, what it looks like. But right now, yeah, I'm going to have to do a lot of work to try to get this to uh, look any decent. I mean, because right now it's uh, pretty awful. <laughs> But we're going to keep it pushing. We're going to keep it pushing. You know, we're going to keep it pushing. So give me a few minutes to go ahead and finish up with this look. And you guys, I'll come back with the finished look. And my hair will be done. And yeah, so I'll be right back. Bye. Hey, everybody. Beauty Holly back at you with the finished look. Um, I am doing a review on the Mega Cushion Foundation with SPF of 15. This is a new foundation. Well, it's not 
of it's not new I hauled this some months ago but um, this is the first time that I'm using it and so I wanted to uh, do a review on it and this is the color medium deep tawny 122B and uh, it's light it's very light on me but for the most part um, I think I toned it down some so it looks like it's a little bit better and it probably oxidizes well um, but yeah so what do y'all think I mean this is something I probably won't even use again thank God it was no more than about four or five dollars for this um, because I probably won't use this again but I did want to do a review on it just so you guys if you're interested you can go out and purchase it and you know whatever uh, the foundation went on really nice and smooth it was easy to blend it's not a um, it's not full coverage it's light to medium more on the light side if you ask me and I couldn't build it up because it because of the color it was too light so if the more I put on the worse it would have looked so I really can't uh, testify or say it's buildable because I couldn't do it because it was the wrong color for me so um, but I think it turned out okay um, like I said I think it did oxidize a tad bit and then I had to bronze and I had to do all that to, to bring it down some so <laughs> but um, the foundation is pretty nice it's, it's more of um, this is probably something I would get my daughter you know um, this is not something that I think I would um, use you know what I'm saying um, I don't know I mean it's just a regular cushion type foundation and a lot of the uh, makeup companies have this type of foundation out but for some reason and this is my first time actually trying a cushion foundation that I can remember this is my very first time trying this and so um, you know I'm just thinking uh, I wouldn't like it and I, I don't this is not something that I would purchase for myself this would be something that I probably would purchase for my 20 year well she's 19 my 19 year old uh, something for her uh, and probably I would give this to her she probably could wear this more than I could in fact it may be a little bit tad bit darker for her um, but we'll see I'll probably give this to her and let her try it but um, yeah that's not something that I'm interested in the cushion the cushion type foundations I, I just I don't know I give me liquid or a stick or something and, and I'm good to go the cushion I don't, I don't know and what is the purpose of the cushion type foundation I don't know what the purpose is of it I mean I don't is it supposed to last longer or what is the purpose of a cushion type foundation I don't know so anyway um, it is now 1255 1215 I'm sorry it's 1215 I think I clocked this at 1127 so I am going to make a few more uh, videos and then um, I do need to go to Ulta I need to go to a couple of other places I need to wash my car and all of that so um, I probably will go and do all of that and then come back and do um, my other uh, videos that I need to do so yeah I will check in with you guys a little bit later bye Hey everybody, Beauty Holly coming back at you with a second check-in or my first check-in actually. It is 3.24 and I went out and did all my errands. It's hot as you know what outside and the foundation seems to be holding up pretty good. Um, it's only been about three hours, three good hours. Oh, excuse me y'all. My nose, my allergies has been really, yeah. But, um... Again, the foundation is uh, Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation, um, and that's what I am reviewing today, and um, it seems to be holding up pretty good. I think it did oxidize, because if y'all remember, um, when I put this foundation on, it was very, very light. I had to do some bronzing and everything to get it down, and so I think with that, 
the combination of that and oxidizing it looks pretty good it's it's okay again this will not be a foundation that I will use again I won't use this again um, but I wanted to review it for you guys and uh, yeah I will probably give this over to my daughter she may can uh, do something with it I don't know but yeah I'm not gonna wear this anymore um, so yeah, basically I did all my errands. I went to Ulta and I will show you what I got in another video. Um, and I went and washed my car. I did all of that good stuff. So yeah, and it's hot y'all. It is hot outside. Yay! I'm excited because this winter and this winter and spring has been something else. I've never in my life remember it being so cold in the springtime like it has been the last month or so so yeah I'm, I'm not complaining or anything I'm, I'm I like hot I like heat <laughs> so anyway you guys I will come back in the next few hours and let you see how it's holding up again I probably will have to blot um, I can kind of hey everybody beauty holic checking back in this is the final check-in and the time is I got my little Fitbit here. It is 7.29. And I'm sure you can't see that. But it is 7.29 in the PM. And I am done with this review. Um, again, one last time. I am reviewing Wet n Wow Mega Cushion Foundation with the SPF for 15. And this is the end result. I did have to um, blot. I did blot. Uh, my eyelashes are coming off. That was a true sign. I need to take this makeup off. <laughs> but um, I did have to blot once today. Um, it may have lasted about a good three, maybe four hours before the oil started coming through. Um, I really don't have much to say about this foundation. First of all, I don't like the cushion foundation. I don't know what the purpose of a cushion foundation is, to be honest with you. Um, it was light, but it did oxidize and I did have the bronze and um, everything to get it to kind of work. Um, during the rest of the day, it did oxidize for me. So, yeah. So, it, it's an okay color, I guess. This is, I think, it's the darkest color or next to the darkest color. Um, if there was a darker color, it was going to be too red for me. So, I went with this color here, which was too light. And I will show you the packaging again. It looks like this. It's a cute little package. Um, and it has like a little sponge in here that you can work with and then the product is on the inside and I'm sure you can tell how light the product is so uh, again it did oxidize and with the combination of that and me bronzing um, it turned out to be okay um, um, another thing about this is it does have an expiration date of 2019 which I think is great. And I want to say uh, January 7th, 2019 is when this expires. So um, that's a long time. That means this lasts a long time. Because I bought this either at the beginning of this year or the end of 2017. So yeah, well this is 18. So yeah, 19, about a year or so. So, yeah, but I don't like this foundation. This is not something that I will buy. I will actually hand this over to my daughter. Hopefully, she can wear it. If not, we're going to trash it. Um, uh, I just got it basically because I was curious about it. Um, this is my first cushion foundation. I never tried any of the other ones. Um, so, I was just kind of curious about it and with the price range of $4.99 or $5 or however much it was, I thought I would try this. And so, I tried it. I'm done. Not interested in the cushion. Um, so, yeah. 
Um, so that's about all that I have on this review for this foundation. Um, it's not anything that I will purchase again. It's not anything that I'm interested in. Um, I'm glad that I did try it and, um, you know, just to see what it was all about. Um, I really don't see the purpose of a cushion foundation. I, I really don't understand that. But if y'all know what the purpose is, please put it down in the comment box and let me know. Because I'm like, what is the purpose of that? I just, I don't know. But anyway, you guys, thank you so, 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 so much for joining me today. I hope this review was helpful. You know, I don't know. It, it, it's thumbs down for me. I, I really don't um, didn't like the foundation at all. It did go on. It did blend pretty well. It's light to medium coverage. You know, it's just, uh, I didn't like it at all, period. So, thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And please don't forget to hit that uh, notification button so you will be notified every time I upload a video. Thank you so much. Be well, be blessed, and be you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.